In this video, I will explain the node and the group node sections. So I'm going to go into our public schema library. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a menu. Let's import the menu schema and click import. Okay, so for example, inside of this schema, we have various sections, which just says menu section appetizers. Okay, if we scroll down, you've got menu items inside there. Then you've got menu section soups. Scroll down, you've got different types of soup, prices and stuff like that. Scroll down even further, we have menu section pastas. Now, basically, what you can do is you can add unlimited nodes by clicking the add node and the add group node sections in here. What I'm going to do is a little bit more advanced. I'm just going to show you quickly. So, for example, we finished this schema with the pastas, menu section pastas. So if we want to add another section on, what we do is we go to duplicate. And then if we scroll down, you'll see it's recreated the whole section, menu section. So we can now change that to main courses. Okay, and then we'd go inside of here and we'd say menu item and we change this to say Sunday lunch or something like that. Put the price in there. And what this is going to do is going to build out the section. Now, if we wanted something else in here, so type current price, price currency, um, I don't know if this is a real one, but say we were just going to put card only, for example, you can very, very simply easily add and delete these very, very quickly just by adding and deleting nodes. If you wanted to add another group node, which is similar to this one up here for the offers, you can actually add that into, into this section, as you see, and I've just done, or you can add a group node up at the higher end section. Once you finish the main courses section, you turn around and think to yourself, okay, we needed a dessert section. You can very, very simply and quickly and easily just duplicate the menu for the main courses, menu section, and then you'd add the desserts and change each individual menu item. Now, if you didn't want to just do the full section, but say we've got a menu item eggplants there and we wanted a dessert for cheesecake, we'd click duplicate here. And as you can see, that's duplicated the full item for us. So now we change that to cheesecake and write in some sort of crazy description and how much the price is and so on and so forth and it's that simple it's that easy it basically enables this section enables anybody no matter what skill level you are to create the most advanced schema possible without ever touching a line of code